Hey, what's up? I'm Rob from Legacy Products. Going to take you through some of the basic steps of uh, what to expect when you get your top, unboxing it, getting it ready for install, and to have Anthony from Florida Fabrication walk you through some of the basic tips and tricks and putting it in. As you can see, here's our top, how it comes packaged. Some of our tops are going to come in a logoed box. Some are going to come in a plain brown box. One thing to notice is none of our tops will ever have clear packing tape on them. They should always be stapled shut. So if you do get a top with clear packing tape on it, it's possible it could have been damaged in shipping. You'll want to inspect it right away in case there's an issue. Most of our tops are going to come packaged in a single box. If you ordered one of our larger tops, like a 55 on up, it may come packaged in two packages. The main top in this box and then a tube with your side frames. Don't be alarmed if one shows up before the other. Sometimes they get split up and one will usually show up about a day later. As you can see, all of our tops are going to be packaged extremely well. It takes our guys a long time to package a top. We make sure they go out of here with no chance of any kind of damage that could possibly happen. You'll want to be careful sliding it out. I like to do staple side up. That way you're not dragging it across extremely sharp staples or you could potentially tear the canvas. As you can see, as we're starting to get the top out of the box, every top's going to be fully wrapped in bubble wrap, as well as a nice plastic liner to make sure it wasn't, wasn't scuffed or damaged at all in shipping. After we get all the bubble wrap and everything removed, you'll notice the tops actually shrink wrapped as well. Be careful when you're cutting through this and the bubble wrap. Keep it away from the fabric as well as your fingers. All right, now that we've got all the packaging and everything removed from the top, you can kind of see what comes in the package. Along with your top in the main box, you'll notice that inside the wrapped up area, you're gonna include a packet. This will be where your instructions are if you order the printed instructions. This also has some cool swag, a uh, deal about sending us pictures and getting 20 bucks back, as well as some other miscellaneous stickers, koozies, cool stuff to check out. You'll also notice that we have the hardware kit. This is where the pinch welt, all of your nuts and bolts and attaching hardware, as well as your handle and all the other miscellaneous hardware is gonna be included. You'll also notice these, these are our four piece corner irons. They'll often either be packaged on some tops in a plastic wrap or wrapped up in foam like this. You'll wanna hold these to the side. This is what we're gonna to use to assemble the four piece frame that Anthony's gonna show you a little bit later. The other part that we get the most questions on is what is this? This is actually our headliner retaining strip. This will be used on the rear of the top to hold the headliner material to the frame. Again, another thing that Anthony from Florida Fab is going to show you in just a bit. Want to go ahead and put this aside, keep an eye on it because it's a little easy to lose and you're going to need it later. From here, we're going to go ahead and start laying out the top, getting everything unpacked, all the other packaging that's done to it. That way we can start assembling the frame and getting it ready to be installed. After you got it all unpackaged and everything, you can start to unfold the top and get it ready to be laid out to install. So you'll notice all of our tops come kind of folded up. This is going to allow us to package it in a nice small box, even though it's a large top, and to minimize any damage potential. You'll notice that in all of the little wear points, we've installed uh, foam. So you make sure you remove all the little foam chunks. These are basically just used during shipping to make sure that the nuts and bolts and such don't rub through your canvas or your headliner, just to ensure you get a good product from us every time. Once we get your top all laid out, um, you'll notice the front and rear frames are actually still attached to your top. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the rear frame, remove the front frame, and allow us to go ahead and put them together with the sides. That way we can build the top and take all of our measurements. Moving along to the front side of our frame, in order to remove the front frame from the top itself, you're gonna go ahead and loosen up the latch. It's just a cam system, 180 degrees over center. This is gonna allow you to loosen the latch and able to slide it back. Go ahead and give the two outer tension knobs a couple cranks, make things easier to slide and you can just slip it right off. You wanna go ahead and set these aside. Not gonna use them just yet. We need to go ahead and package the top back up and get it out of our way so we can get the frame together. Something to remember while you're packaging up your top and getting it out of your way. The cleaner you keep it now, the better it'll look later. Make sure your hands are clean, keep your grubby little paws off it, and make sure it's nice and clean. What we'll go ahead and do now is we're gonna go ahead and start setting up the frame. This is where we're gonna to need to square it all up, make sure everything's perfect, so we can pull our measurements off of this to figure out what size hole we're gonna to need to put in the car. On some of our longer tops or tops that have the custom modification of doing our relief cuts, custom curves, things like that, you may notice that on the back side of your top, it's gonna to say front or rear. Just keep in mind that they obviously need to match front to front, 
back to back. That is gonna, how we built the top, that's how we wrapped the top, and that's how it's gonna go back together in the best way possible. This is gonna be where those four piece corner irons come into play. What these are used for is to secure the front and side frames together. The holes are our different shape and different locations, so it's gonna be easy to locate which way they went in orientation to the top. Some tops will be marked front or rear, left or right, if they have a custom curve. This is a pretty curved top, so you'll notice that some of these are bent. We just gotta line that up with the front and rear to make it all match. You'll notice this top has a curve in it, like we were talked about a moment ago. So you'll wanna just match up this big radius here to the top itself on the front frame or in the rear frame. You'll see where the corner iron goes just on like that. You'll use two of your provided uh, Keps nuts. It's the little nut with the washer that's already included, a little star washer. Loosely put those two on and then do the same for the sides, front and back, leaving everything loose. Once you got all the corners loosely in, you'll notice that your corners should start to line up. Everything should start fitting together, hard 90s, getting everything ready to be squared up. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn you guys over to Anthony uh, from Florida Fabrication. He's gonna go ahead and help out and get the top squared up the rest of the way. Moving on to the next step where we're uh, laying out the hole and blowing the roof open. So what we're doing now is finding center on the individual frame. Finding center on there, finding center on your roof of your vehicle, side, pick a point, side to side, that's a symmetrical. Find center, pretty much just line these lines up on the roof and you're good to go. So to get the frame square, put it before you put it on the roof, just a normal square will do. Find square, get your outside edges of the radius and the side frame and just snug tight. So now what we'll do is take it to the roof as a complete frame. We already pre-marked the roof center on this particular vehicle. So what we have done here, mark center, found it at the bottom of the windows. Frames mark center, get them lined up, have them at the front, just have the same thing. When you're marking the roof for the side frames, you'll cut the roof out for this line, not for this one. So to get the whole, the roof cut, best bet, and to keep from stress cuts future down the road, drill a hole in each of your four corners and that also makes it so you can drop your bit in the hole and connect the dots. All right, we connected the dots with the blade and time to get her off. All right, we dropped the frame in, double checked, make sure it fit, took it apart, threw the rear frame and front frame in, and mark all your holes that you're gonna drill through the sheet metal of the car. Once we got the front and rear frames marked in place, simple as getting your side frames lined up with the edge, and marking all those holes. So a question we get all the time is, what is a small little aluminum strip with the five holes in it? I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's designed to do, what we use it for, and where it goes in your top. So that little strip is actually gonna be your headliner retaining strip. What this does is it sandwiches the leftover material that's on the back of your rag top to the back of the frame. As you can see, we install this on the back with the cap open, sandwiched the material in between it and then attach the self tappers. A little tip to uh, making this go easier for you is get your top in, latched, everything ready, pull this material tight, tape it down to your roof, and then drop the headliner strip down in and then attach it from the screws. This will allow it to be hidden from the inside and give you a nice clean look on the inside. Quick little tech tip on uh, getting your top to fit better. Sometimes a canvas can shrink or stretch slightly. What you're able to do is elongate the rear holes in the back frame to allow you to shift the cap forward and back slightly. This will allow you to stretch the length or shorten the length to get the top to latch and seal correctly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to latch, unlatch, and slide your top. This is the way we recommend doing it. it makes it a lot easier for you. That way you're able to get it in, get it out, and enjoy your ride. Bloop. So one of the things that we recommend during the setup phase, during the installation setup, is not using the provided handle. Actually, what you'll want to use is an Allen wrench. 
All of our latches are actually going to be keyed with an Allen socket. This allows you to work the top easier during all the installation so you're not fighting with the handle trying to get it right. When you slide the top forward, you'll notice the hook sticking out. The hook is actually going to protrude through the front of the frame, catching it on its side. You'll use the Allen wrench to go ahead and drag it over, line it up, and then you'll catch the frame. Right about here is when you feel like, hey, I might break this deal. Go a little further, it's all right, it's gonna pop into place. And just like that, it's a cam system. So it's over-centered, locked in. That's how it's supposed to be. After you have the center latched, you're gonna crank the outer tension knobs down. Cranking the outer tension knobs down, what that does is it's gonna suck the cap down tight to your roof. This is what actually gives you the good seal on the front. Do it on both sides. A question we get asked a lot, or what do I do with these corners? The corners are designed to square off the ragtop and provide additional strength and structure to the inside of the top. Using the corners keeps the top from wanting to tear the sheet metal back and also allows you to keep everything nice and tight and square when assembling the frame. As you'll see, the corners are installed on the inside of the vehicle. They will sandwich the roof skin and the frame together. So these will be on the inside of the car. A question we get often is what is this black stuff for? What it's designed to do is actually hold your headliner material to the bottom edge of our frame. This is gonna to attach to the very bottom edge of the frame. When in a car with a headliner, you actually have fabric that comes up to this point that you'll wrap around the frame and then secure it in place with the pinch welding. This will give you a nice seamless look on the inside as well as a nice finished secure spot to mount your headliner. In cars without a headliner like this one, it's just a great way to finish off the top and give it a little bit nicer look on the inside. Opening your rag top. First step, you're gonna wanna loosen the outer tension knobs. This is usually gonna be about six or seven turns. Every car is just a little bit different. So go ahead and loosen the two outer knobs, one on each side. The front is gonna be a, the latch. It's just a 180 degree turn on the cam to pop it open. Make sure the hook's somewhat centered in the opening. Go ahead and slide it backwards by hand the first little bit. And then we'll take you outside of the top to show you the rest. After you've slid the top about halfway back, you'll notice it starts to bunch up in a weird fashion. Don't leave it like this. It looks terrible, makes you look goofy. You're gonna wanna go ahead and start tucking up the pleats and kind of help pull it up and get it up to where it needs to be. On the big, wide, long tops like this, you may need to do it from both sides to get it exactly perfect. The way I've always done it is I kind of get one started, get it pulled back, get it nice and tight. Again, pleat it out, make it look presentable and nice. Repeat the process with the next fold or however many folds your top has. The last fold's always the easiest. The header helps keep everything stacked up, makes it fold real nice and tight. Ideally, you want to go ahead and pull everything back, keep it nice and tight, and allow it to really stack up nice and tight. That's how your top should look when it's open. Closing your top. When there's no seats in the car, sure makes it a lot easier. Basically, all you're going to do, grab both sides, pull evenly, and the top's going to slide right on up. If for some reason you ever need to service the latch, the header, any of those type of things, what you'll do is you're going to just go ahead and unlatch the top, remove the two outer tension knobs. They will come completely off, which will allow you to pop your front cap up and then fold it back. I've already loosened the two knobs. They're already off. Saves a little time. So I can show you this next step. Another little tip. If you have a roof that's got a big compound curve like this one does, and the front just won't seal down completely tight. What we do is take a small piece of the pinch welding, put it on the very back edge of the cap, just ahead of the mount hole. This allows the top to rock forward slightly, giving you better pressure along the edge and also helps prevent any leakage. After you've latched the top, you'll see that the corners are popped up pretty high on this top. They'll be up somewhat on yours too. This is where the outer tension knobs come into play. When you crank that outer tension knob down, as you can see I'm doing here, that's what sucks the top down nice and tight to the roof, giving you your nice tight seal and keeping the water out. In a properly installed top, when it's closed, latched, everything's tightened up, you'll notice this gap is tight on the roof. That's how you want yours to look. 
That's what keeps it, the leading edge of any water out of your top. The tighter the seal you have here and along the sides, the better waterproof this will be. After the top's latched tight, the outer tension knob's cranked, you'll notice the, the side of the top itself is pulled down nice and tight to the roof. Again, the better the fit, the better the finish during your installation is what makes a great product. That's how it should look. If you're gonna leave your car stored for a while or just not using it, make sure you close the top, latch it, and fully crank it down tight. This will keep the top from wanting to shrink and remember its spot not fully closed. This is gonna keep the fabric looking the best and the top easy to open and close going back to it later on. Thanks for following along with us today. We're gonna to bring you a lot more content on our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, so make sure you come along with us. Watch out for our new videos. Thanks a lot to Florida Fabrication for the install, and of course, Grinder TV for the videos.